in the previous videos we have uh, understood Azure Container Registry and also perform the demonstration. And today in this video, we are going to understand Azure Container Instances or ACI. Hello everyone, my name is Arun. Let's get started. So Azure Container Instances or ACI are one of the fastest options for deploying container applications within Azure when compared to the other Azure container services. For example, when you usually create a container, what do you do? You, you spin up a VM, maybe Windows, maybe Linux, then you deploy the Docker daemon, then start working on it. But here, it is a managed services. You can directly go ahead and deploy your container. Okay, so you need not to worry about the maintenance of the virtual machines that you have created for your containers. All right, so let's go ahead. ACI supports deployment of containers from both public repositories like Docker Hub or private repositories when using Azure Container Registry. So we can write down here it supports. both public plus private repos okay or you can say uh, in private we just completed acr azure container registries in public you can say docker hub or maybe you have other services all right, so I will like this. So, uh, yeah, now it uh, now I'm good. So it supports both. All right. Okay, so now containers are becoming the preferred way to package, deploy, and manage cloud applications. This is this is something uh, which actually integrate with cloud so easily so nicely smoothly it becomes uh, one of the uh, native technology of the cloud though it is not we all know containers were there already but it, it integrates in such a nice way okay and cloud provides a lot of other features with the help of which you can prepare or maintain or create your cloud applications and Azure Container Instances offers the fastest and simplest way to run a container in Azure okay without having to manage a VM right so this point is covered already twice so I hope this is clear now now let's go ahead uh, ACI is a great solution for any scenario that can operate in isolated containers, okay? Including simple application, task automation, and build jobs. We all know that to run uh, microservices or to run a multi-cloud applications, we need orchestration. Uh, things like Kubernetes, Swarm, all right? Uh, Azure do have the managed services just like ACI and they recommend Azure Kubernetes services for those kind of applications or scenarios but ACI is great for isolated applications right which operate in isolated containers including simple application task automation and build jobs you can all do that with the help of this service there are scenarios where you need to do that so go for ACI it will help you no need to wait or maintain 
to maintain the VM, wait for the creation of the VM and the implementation of Docker, even things like that. It's a managed service, go use it, right? So let's go ahead. And uh, we talked about AKS for scenarios where you need full container orchestrations. Okay, so AKS will cover in uh, upcoming videos for sure. And these are just the overviews, not the deep down. But for containers and orchestration, I'm definitely going to prepare another series. And that would help you to understand this technology a little bit deeper. But right now, we are preparing as per the Microsoft Architect Technologies. It, with respect to the certification, this knowledge is, is enough. It's more than enough to clear the certification. Okay. All right. So, uh, containers offer significant startup benefits over virtual machines. We all know that Azure Container Instance can start containers in Azure in seconds without the need to provision and manage the VMs. As I said, you no need to wait. All right. So Azure Container Instance enables exposing your container groups directly to the internet with an IP address and a fully qualified domain name. When you create a container instance, you can specify a custom DNS name level so your application is reachable. So we can say, uh, directly or mm, assign with the IP address and FQDN to access accessible from internet right and it is always like xyz dot there would be a customizable or custom uh, domain or label that you provide when you create it and then dot azure region dot azure container dot io just like we had with registry right so oh i'm sorry i need to go with the entire box and we'll make it kowlin yeah it's it's much easier to read okay so that is our third point to keep in mind okay when you when you create a container instance you can specify your custom dns name label which is which would look like this right here and your app which is running in the container is accessible will be accessible with this fqdn okay now it is a managed services you do not have the access to the vms that you can jump to the vm to the container uh but just like the other services here also you can execute a command in a running container and azure provide an interactive shell to help with application development and troubleshooting and access takes place over https using tls to secure your client connection so we can we can write here uh in, interact interactive shell for access and that happens https using tls to secure client connections all right cool now let's take one of these arrow and let's looks a little bit nicer okay and azure container instance guarantees your application is 
as isolated in a container as it would be in a VM okay that that is there which is promised by MS or Azure all right now you can say uh, isolated isolated just like in uh, VM what is isolated your app let's write it completely app inside the ACI is as isolated just as in a VM right cool come on okay all right now let's go ahead now containers are typically optimized to run just a single application but that but the exact needs of those application can differ greatly right azure container instance provides optimum utilization by allowing exact specifications of of cpu cores and memory you pay based on what you need and get billed by the second so you can fine tune your spending based on the actual need all right so it what happens uh when we run the containers on the vm it takes as much it needs but here you can define okay you can put the exact specification of your cpu and memory that would help and azure also gives you or offers you azure file share for persistent storage and container okay that is something very nice and interesting so let me oh come on okay cool now you can run both windows and linux containers and both work on the same api uh, you just need to simply select the os type when you create your container groups okay now azure container instance supports scheduling of multi-container groups that share a host machine local network storage and lifecycle this enables you to combine your main application container with supporting role containers okay you can do this kind of uh, thing but still if you are running uh how what, what would i say about that like uh for scenarios where you need full container orchestration including uh, service discovery across multiple containers automatic scaling and coordinated application upgrades it is always best to go for an orchestrator something like azure kubernetes services well that's all this that's all uh, about azure container instances and in next video we'll perform the demonstration that would help you understand what all we talked about right here. Well, thank you for watching.